Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in CS2. This will help you to fix your input latency, FPS drops and a lot more so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the essential compatibility settings for your game and for that open up Steam on your PC, locate your Counter Strike, right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Once you're here, go down to game, open up bin, win64 and you'll find cs2.exe. Simply right click on that, head over to properties, then go to compatibility and make sure to click on disable full screen optimizations. Also click on run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8 and head over to change high DPI settings, click on override high DPI scaling behavior and then click on OK. Click on OK once again and that should be it. Step number two is the best launch option settings and for that head over to the properties section and then in the general tab you'll find launch options. Simply paste this string that is hyphen allow underscore third allow underscore party underscore software then you have hyphen high hyphen novid and hyphen use all available course. Use these launch options I'll be leaving them in the description below to copy and paste. Step number three is the graphics settings and for that head over to settings on your PC and then go down to gaming. Head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will help you to disable unwanted notification pop-ups while you're playing the game and right beneath that you'll find graphic settings. Click on that and then click on change default graphic settings. Enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to reduce your input latency and utilize your GPU to render the game primarily. Head back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and then go to the download location of your game. Once you're here head back to the game folder bin win64 and add cs2.exe in this list. If that is already added you have to look for your game which is added in this list. Then head over to the options tab and then click on high performance, click on save and that should be it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then look for a local disk C. Simply click on create and name it CS2 just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the CS2 FPS pack I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can simply download it from there and you'll find in 6 simple folders over here. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. This will help you to apply the current SFIO priority for your CPU and optimize the performance of your processor. Go back to the second folder which is the most important one over here that is CS2 optimization in which I have left above normal and high priority. Once again I would request you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which registry you have to use over here. The third folder is RAM optimization and the sole purpose of this is to correct your RAM registry. And for that I have left a ton of presets according to your memory. I have 32GB RAM so I need to use 32GB RAM registry. It could be different for you so you can apply it according to your RAM. Once again, Again, if that doesn't work out well or as intended you can always reset it back to default over here both folder is the useful programs in which I have left three simple programs let's start with the first one that is a batch file that is clean cache you have to right click on this as administrator and this will start deleting all unwanted temporary files from your PC. Do not worry because this is completely safe. These files are dump files that are created by the programs which are no longer in use. You can simply delete them to free up your RAM and your memory. Second one is the memory duct over here. You have to simply install memory duct on your PC and simply open this thing up. And here is a simple demonstration of how memory duct actually works. You guys can see that I am currently consuming 33% of my RAM as of now. As soon as I click on clean memory and then I click on yes, you guys can see that this usage falls down immediately. Memory Duct helps you to clean up memory headroom while you're playing the games and it is always good to run this application every now and then before you're dropping into the game. Last is the MSI Mode Utility 3.0, simply right click and run this as administrator. And once you are in here, you have to look for your graphic card. 
Simply click on the MSI button next to it and then for the interrupt priority set this thing to high. It will set up the correct interrupt priority allowing your GPU to perform much better. Next is the useful batch tweaks in which I have left BCD tweaks, disabling memory compression, disabling process mitigation and latency tweaks. BCD tweaks and latency tweaks will help you to get rid of your input latency while memory compression will help you to optimize your RAM performance and CPU performance and lastly is the disable process mitigation. It will help you to solely improve your CPU's performance. I would recommend you guys to right click on every single one of them as administrator and if you guys are wondering what they are changing on your PC, simply edit them in notepad and see the changes it is going to do on your PC. These are the command prompts that are going to be run automatically without anything manual needed to do them. Last is the unwanted services and this is completely optional if all of those steps helped you to gain performance I would recommend you guys to skip it but if you guys are facing problems still I would recommend you guys to use unwanted services over here I want you guys to disable every single one of them by double clicking these registries and it will help you to optimize your PC's performance drastically once again, if any of them causes any kind of issues, you can always reset them back using the revert folder over here. Or in case it doesn't work, you guys can always use a restore point to get back whatever you had lost. Next step is setting up the virtual memory. It is super important and for that you have to simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Head over to the advanced tab over here and you'll find virtual memory. Simply click on the change button over here and deselect automatically manage paging file size on top of the screen. Simply select your local disk C and for the initial size set this thing to 1361. This is a little over 1 GB and it is the most optimal value I have found out by trial and error. After that simply open up your calculator and multiply your RAM that is 32GB for me with 1024. This will give you your memory in megabytes. Divide this whole value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size. Once that is done, click on set, click on OK and this is how you optimally set up your virtual memory for playing your games. After that, I want you guys to drop into the game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, head over to the settings gear over here and then go down to video. For display, set it to your main monitor and the display mode should always be set to full screen. Aspect ratio should be wide angle and resolution should be your native monitor resolution. Refresh rate should be the highest available for your monitor. Head over to the advanced video tab over here and then boost player contrast should be enabled. V-Sync should be turned off. Nvidia G-Sync, if that is available for your monitor, I would recommend you guys to enable that but if it is not you can simply set it to disabled nvidia reflex low latency set it to enable plus boost maximum fps in game should be 3 fps lower than your monitor's maximum frame rate so for my monitor it's 240 hertz so it should be set to 237 once you have set that, head down to the presets tab and then for the multi-sampling, set this thing to none. Global shadow quality should be set to low. Dynamic shadows should be set to all. Model texture detail should be set to low. Texture filtering mode should be set to bilinear. For the particle detail, go with low. Ambient occlusion should be set to disabled. This is super important. High dynamic range should be set to performance and a fidelity FX super resolution should be set to disabled. Do not enable it by any chance because it will add input latency. Once that is done, simply apply these changes onto your PC and go back head down into the game and enjoy the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We're really close to 1000 subscribers and I really believe in you guys. We'll see you all in another amazing video of Tweakers. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Tweakers and peace out.